Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the second video of content, which today we're gonna to talk about the life cycle of a machine learning project. Now, firstly, it's at a high level, so it's just gonna be a general overview of what's going on. Don't worry about anything specific or any understanding anything too well. Also, don't think that we necessarily follow this exactly every time we do a machine learning project, but here's the idea that most of the time we're gonna follow something like this. So remember the point of a machine learning model is to do something, okay? We haven't really talked about what they're capable of. They're capable of a lot of things. But in general, we're trying to use data to make some actionable results, okay? Maybe we automated a robot. Maybe we uh, made a forecasting model that a human will then look at that result, whatever it came out of. Maybe it was forecasting the weather, for example. It's taking data, it's running some algorithm, doing something, which we'll talk about a lot later, and then, you know, giving some results, whatever that is. So how would we go about doing that? Well, we basically start with getting data, okay? So one is data. Machine learning algorithms need a lot of data. I could often, I might as well write big data here because you need a lot of information and we'll talk about exactly what this data needs to look like later. But that's more so important for step two, which is prep prepping the data, okay? Preparation, preparation of data. Okay, so what this means is you get raw data in step one. So I'll actually write that. This just means whatever form it came in, you know, some some table online, you, you went out and got some measurements outside, uh, whatever it is, that's raw data, you get that in step one. Step two, you prepare the data a little bit, which again, we'll talk a lot about the specifics, but basically this means making sure it's nice and clean, looking the way that you want the data to, so that you can do what you want with it later. Something fairly similar, except a little bit different, is something we call wrangling, data, data wrangling, which, you know, not everybody uses this term, but basically it means, you know, before you prepare the data so that it's ready and nice and clean, except now wrangling data, you really, really mix it around in a programming language so that it looks exactly what you need it to, to feed it into some sort of machine learning algorithm or just do some analysis on it. And so because of that, often step four is what we call just straight up analysis. Okay, so you could, you could maybe omit this step and say it's included in uh, the other two, like steps three or two, except analysis really just means, you know, you're looking at the data. There's a lot of statistical techniques you might want to do with these things, like see how they're related to each other. See if, you know, maybe if one variable goes up, another goes down or another goes up. We could do lots of graphs like uh, bar plots and scatter plots, which we'll discuss later. And so in general, you just look at the data and try to understand what's going on with it before we do any type of machine learning stuff. Steps one to four here, really, they of course have something to do with machine learning, except it's not really what people imply when they talk about machine learning. They generally imply step five here, which is train, okay? Train an ML, so train a machine learning model, okay? so. There's a lot of varieties as to what this is. Maybe its job again is to like, you know, forecast the weather. So we have a specific algorithm that does that with this data that is relevant to predicting the weather. Maybe we have information about the past weather or geographic information. So where we're actually talking about, or maybe if we're trying to classify maybe whether an image is a cat or a dog. So our data would be a bunch of cats and dogs. The data is specific to whatever problem we're trying to solve. And the algorithm is also very particular. And this is step five here, train an ML model. That means basically run some specific algorithm that is training, and we'll talk about what that means a lot later, but it's learning from the data. That's the point of machine learning, learn from data to you know, get good at doing something, whatever that is. So after we do that, we have step six, which it's kind of weird here. I'll actually draw a bit of a feedback loop, which I'll, it'll make sense shortly test model. Okay, so the point of training a model is to make it get good at doing something, get the algorithm to get good at doing something and the machine to do something. But then testing the model, that's making sure that it's actually going to do its job. Because the, the whole point of machine learning here is that it's not like hard coding, like programming, hey, if you go to this website, do this thing, we'll do that right 99.99% of the time. And the problem with machine learning is that you might have an accuracy of like 80%. or maybe you're wrong, like, all the time, 
Like, not wrong as in way off, but your forecasting model, we're predicting the weather. Maybe it's not that close. Maybe it, it actually rained instead of hailed or whatever. So you test the model to make sure that, you know, we're pretty sure that it's going to get a reasonably correct answer. After we've tested the model and we're pretty sure that it's going to do a good job, we do the final step, which is most importantly, we deploy the model. And that just means put it in production so that it is ready to be used by whoever wants to use it. So it's in the company. You, you Basically, you would go behind the scenes and do some stuff with like Python or whatever. But then you would bring that code so that it can be used by the company or by you. Maybe it's a robot. You would put that code into the robot. Maybe it's a forecasting model for the weather. You would actually feed that into the systems for the weather so that, you know, that would be involved in the website where if I go to check the weather, it's actually running that model that you made behind the scenes. It's deployed, gives its result, and it gives it back, back to us in production. So that's the general machine learning lifecycle, and I will see you in the next video.